Repeaters let you add multiple elements to your site with the same design and layout, but different content. In this lesson, we'll cover how you can edit repeaters manually and locally, and how you can connect them to your CMS. With the repeater, you can create designs with multiple items with the same layout and design, or make A and B versions with some design changes between the two, like in this design. Let's dive in. Starting over in the Add panel, let's add a blank repeater. For this lesson, let's start with a blank layout, which you can find in the Quick Add tab as well. Choose as many items as you want in the repeater, and you can always add more later on by going to Manage Items in the panel and adding more here, or by hitting Add Item in the Floating panel. Within this panel, you can also duplicate, reorder, delete, and give all of your repeater items a new name at once. We'll come back to this later. Right now, this is showing four items in total, set to three per row. That means on every screen size, the exact number of items shown per row will be three. You can change this by going over to the Layout panel and changing the number under this toggle. And if you turn this toggle off, the number of items per row can automatically wrap based on the width of the repeater and the items inside. For example, now that the toggle is off, the item will have a fixed size. Now they'll retain the exact pixel size that you set across all screen sizes. When the repeater item runs out of space, they'll start wrapping. Let's keep four items per row for now and toggle the set items per row on. Let's select the repeater again. And back in the layout panel, you can also change how it will show, choose its directionality, and add gaps between the items. And for some layouts, like this card layout, you can set the item alignment with this dropdown here to start, end, center, space around, or space between. Let's position our repeater. Now I've got this repeater filled with blank items, and when I resize the screen, it'll respond to the screen size. Just like how you can control the layout of the repeater as a whole, you can design and adjust the design of the items. We can drag the elements that we want, starting with the title. And you'll see that adding an element to one item will add it to all the other items as well. And if we add a few more elements, the same thing will happen. Basically, any design or layout change on this item will also copy onto the other items in the repeater. Now, you can change the text in each item of the repeater without changing the content of the others. The design repeats, not the content. You can change the repeater's display type from the floating panel, and even choose a different layout on each breakpoint. For example, on tablet, I can change this from cards to a list, slider, or grid cells, or I can change the number of items per row. That change has cascaded down to mobile too, but going back to desktop, you'll see it hasn't changed. And because we created this override on the tablet breakpoint, even if we change the layout on desktop again, the tablet and mobile layouts won't be affected. Moving back to mobile, you can create another layout override here between mobile and tablet by switching the layout again. As long as you only change the design properties of the repeater items on mobile, your changes won't affect the desktop breakpoint. With the repeater, you don't just have to stick with one pattern. You can create an A-B pattern that alternates the repeater designs, just like these examples. So first, select your repeater and head over to the layout panel. Then hit this A-B pattern toggle. And you'll see that every other item in your repeater highlights for a moment. These are your Bs. Then if we head back to the layers panel, you'll see that the items within the repeater have been separated into that ABAB pattern. And the same thing under the Manage panel. All your items will be labeled ABAB. As long as that's toggled on, they'll keep this pattern. So let's design these alternates. You can make some design adjustments between your A's and B's, like changing their colors, adjusting their font and text size, rounding their corners, and their interactions. For example, I can set this interaction for B, 
and set this one for A. But any changes you make to an element's position or size will affect every item in your repeater. Back to our Manage Items panel. Let's see how deleting an item affects the design of the other items, and change this B item title so you will see it more clearly. If you delete this A item, now the last item here to the right, which was with the B pattern before, got the design of the A item because now we have three items. Once an item in the AB pattern is deleted, the design will be applied to each item according to the new order. Let's undo and redo to see that change again. The alternating pattern will just continue repeating indefinitely, even when you add new items. And no matter how you rearrange the items, the design pattern will say ABAB. -A -B. Only the content will change. The AB pattern is a global variant that applies to all breakpoints. So you'll see here that the A's remain A's and B's remain B's in all breakpoints. If you want to apply an AB pattern on the desktop breakpoint, but just want a single design on mobile, you can design the B's on the mobile breakpoint to match the A's, and that won't affect the desktop breakpoint. And if you switch off the AB pattern toggle, all of your content will switch back to that A design, and any B designs you've created will be permanently removed from all breakpoints. Even if you switch it back on, you will need to start your B design from scratch. Before we wrap up, let's look at how to populate a repeater with content from your CMS. Here you can manage dynamic content behind the scenes using collections without affecting the design you've set up. This is especially useful if you're creating a design with a lot of items. We've already created and set up a collection here. This What We Do collection includes the fields with the content we want to show. Choose the Connect to Data option here to connect your repeater items with the relevant fields in the collection. The data collection tells the repeater how many items to show, and then the repeater serves as the layout guide. So if we go back to the collection and add another item, we can see that the repeater will have another item. So, in our last few lessons, we covered some ways you can customize your pages using a few different layout tools. Up next, we've got a challenge for you to design your own section with stacks, grids, and repeater. I'll see you there.